Hello Taurus, welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy. I'm ready to jump into a current energy check for my gorgeous bulls, my babies. Hi, hi, hi. Listen, I'm seeing some shit energy. <laughs> I don't like it, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the five of stars, the fever, um, legal matters, fucking not great shit. Sad news. Let's see what's going on. Some of you are dealing with a very vindictive energy to do with a child or somebody is, right? For some of you, this isn't you, yeah? For some of you, it's not you. It's, maybe it's because of you, though, that that energy is about, uh, whatever that means. But for a lot of you, it's not a legal situation either. It's a karmic situation and it's about to come straight. I don't really like the energy that I'm seeing though. There's so much shit going on. Um, right, but not to worry, however, because it's sh something's showing up as a gift. A gift is on its way for you, Taurus. And it's like someone knows this. You're the gift for a lot of you. Someone knows this. Whoever is trying to fuck you over, they really, really need to not. And for a lot of you, it's because of how successful you are or how victorious you're looking or how much of a winning energy you've got and someone just fucking hates it or something to that effect or again flip the rolls as you see fit whatever look someone it's someone as well that's attached to the divine masculine for a lot of you and it's like hmm Do not like the energy. But hi everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, please do subscribe. Let's connect energies. If you're returning, I love you all. You know this. You know this. Show me messages for my bulls. What do my Tauruses need to see? Look, sad news. Had number 14. Don't like it. Show me more. Do you need to do the messages, guys? But don't force them to fit if they're not for you, okay? Show me messages for Taurus, please. Oh, yay. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, mother. Thank you. I mean, as some of you may know, I am a Taurus son, so that doesn't sit well with me, you know? But not to fucking worry. Sad news is done. Sad news is over. Receiving sad news. Gut blow. Shit blow. Blah, 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 it's done. That journey, that cycle is over, over. Claim that, count your blessings, show gratitude. Thank you, love that. <laughs> so, love that. Needed to see that. So some of you, this all that shittiness is just, it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna win, even if it is to do with you or someone else, regardless, it's not gonna win. Someone's gonna be reaching out. Some of you, there's support around you if you need it. Someone's going to be reaching out for you to you for support or advice. Um, some of you have stopped trying to reach out to someone because it's not getting anywhere, whatever that means. Mm, let's get some more. Um, Let's get some more. Mm. Still seeing something shocking going down, some kind of shocking news, shocking change, a surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Someone's not happy in a relationship, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Someone's keeping someone stuck out of spite. You don't want to let them go and be the best self. This is either your person or someone's person that you, that you need to know about. Show me Taurus's messages. Right, why do we keep seeing this? Something's about to come to a completion. And you're going to find out about it. 
love card okay someone is expressing love you know again let's go back to the same fucking storyline we see it all the time someone somewhere and for some of you this is you is ending a situation and then going to be reaching out to express the feelings for somebody else or for you whichever however the way it goes someone's looking at your pictures someone is looking at how fine you are uh-huh someone likes you a lot <laughs> and you can't stop doing you can't stop doing regardless of where they're at show messages for taurus please somebody reminds me of venus so yeah place a sign in your chat anywhere you like somebody reminds me of venus you could find messages in here for you cross watch is always welcome we encourage that shit we know that show me messages for taurus please Okay, we've got addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint, someone. What's the sad news to do with that for the runner? So for some of you, this is the runner going through all that dog shit energy that I've seen. And they're going to be reaching out to you. So someone that's been in a very addictive, codependent relationship. Someone that's had someone obsessed over them, possess, possessive over them, restraining them, keeping them stuck. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, unconventional, string along one night stand. This could be someone that you've put behind you because you thought, okay, well, that's, that was a little one night stander or something. That was, that was nice to get strung along. Oh, they're coming back to seduce you. Third party interference though as well. Some of you are finding out that someone's, um, like someone, a third party expert, uh, a third party situation could absolutely have been exposed or it has done or it will do be mindful someone that really wants to do things with you is going to be reaching out someone is taking a chance oh got a delivery someone's taking a risk You're going to find out that someone is heartbroken over you. Thank you. Can it post? Oh, I'm sick, guys. Sorry, delivery. You didn't fit through the letterbox. Um, but yeah, listen. <sighs> someone that's been in a commitment and marriage is risking it all and getting the fuck out of it. And you're going to find out. Someone is also... Some of you have also found out that someone that you've been dealing with has been in a commitment and they've brought you into it. Like, they couldn't help themselves, you know, but they have. Like, whatever. Or some of you have. Walk oh, marriage. <laughs> okay. Show me messages for Taurus. Someone that's been trying to work on a relationship that's not going anywhere is realising that. Marriage, occupation and pathway. Someone's realising that their work is going nowhere, getting nowhere fast. Yeah, done. Someone's done. Someone's done putting the effort in. Someone's done trying to work on things, fix it. You, someone else. Flip it as you need to. Yeah, someone's, someone's sad. <laughs> Someone regrets being, you know, like someone's took the piss too much, man. You know, like, listen, say someone fucked up, yeah, and they've done whatever they can in their power to fix that situation. Whoever they was trying to fix it with was doing nothing other than take advantage of that situation and what that person, or what they expected of that person to do, which you know what I mean? And they took the piss, man. And this is either someone that you've been trying to sort shit out with, they've just been taking the piss out of your... Or someone else has. Someone else has been taking the piss out of someone that's been trying to fix the situation. And they're realising it for what it is. And they're done. Show me messages for Taurus. Like someone's really been pushing the luck. Do you know what I mean? Concern. Card number 33. Show me more. Mm. 
Okay, we've got community card number 39. Someone's worried about what other people are going to have to say, going to think. Right, then we've got a message. An occupation. Someone's going to be... Listen, those of you that work within your community or work within the public in some kind of way, you're going to get a message about it. Um, how what you do is... Someone just... Why is it concerned though? Could have listen, you know what you know what I was channeling last night? Um is that the those of you that are, that are the high priestess, very much like myself, you know, you read cards, you are very intuitive, you can you know, you have foresight in some kind of way, or you can, you know, you read energy, whatever, I'll take as it resonates. Someone doesn't really like that much about that. They feel like they feel like at a disadvantage because of that. Like, that's a problem for them. Your intuition, yeah, is a problem for someone. And that's kind of what I'm seeing now. But it's something that you do within the community. Something that you're working on, working with, grafting for. You're being taught. You're going to get a message about it. For some of you, it's how you look within your community or within your, what you do for work. Some of you are going to win as far as a home or a living situation is concerned. It's going to come out, it's going to close to a, you know, the battle is going to end and it's going to be in your favour. You already know that, you're just dealing with a very controlling person, so it's making you question it a little bit, but no, you're still going to win, is what you're being told. Or someone's winning as far as a house is concerned. What the fuck's all that about? What's, the, what's this concern for Taurus? What's this concern? It's like someone's worried about what you're doing. Like, okay. Someone's feeling very left out. Also, you know, like any of you that have got competition in what you do, like, I don't know if you've took, say you do nails, for example, or makeup, or, you know, you started working in that sector. You've took people's custom clients because you work hard, you graft, you put your work in, you put your effort in. And someone's not happy about that. It's like you took someone's work. <laughs> not meaning to, in some kind of way. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Or just whatever you do for work is a concern for someone. Listen, for some of you, it's because you can, you're going to out someone as being a fucking liar or a thief. What does that even mean? Right, whatever. Let's move on. I don't even know what that just meant. Especially if you're the high priestess. Like, and that's not, that's not even just a message for one of you. It's a message for all of you, because all of you are. There's something that you know intuitively about someone, and someone's very concerned about it being outed. And for a lot of you, this is someone at work, and they don't want to lose the job. Or there's someone that you... I don't know. Look, the high priestess. Not kidding. Show me messages for Taurus. Strong Pisces energy. Someone's realising that they're not going to win with you. Like, they're not going to get away with shit. They can't win. They're not going to win because of your intuition. What does that mean? Hmm. They were not going to win. You will. They know this. No matter how much they try. As, right, those of you that work within the community, it's like people are trying to compete, compare, and they're not, they can't do it. Um, the Ace of Wands, the Emperor, the Ace of Swords. Listen, some, someone's ready to step in the truth, speak the truth about what it is that they want, they're passionate about, they desire. We're excited about could be an Aries, a father, husband, boss. Some of you have started your own business and it's gonna be amazing. But I feel like you've got a lot of yeah, you've got slyness around it. So just be mindful, be careful, pay attention. And it's only people that are sad, do you know what I mean? What do you like? It's like, well, if you would have done the same course as I did, then you'd do you'd be doing the same thing that I did, that I'm doing. But because they didn't, they're still blaming you in some kind of way. 
like some kind of shit like that. It's like, well, if you put in the graft that I've done, you'd have the same thing. You know, like if you grafted with this toil and labour like I've grafted, you have the same outcome as I'd, out, I, I'd have, or something to that effect. But someone's not willing to put the work in, but they'd rather just say that you don't deserve yours, or something like that's going on. What the fuck? <sighs> Show me messages for Taurus. Something's going to be made very clear to you very soon. Could be dealing with the Leo. Show me messages for Taurus, please. For some of you, listen, it's that advice thing. Those of you especially that read cards or have foresight, like, being, like if someone would come to you and ask you to, again, something similar that I do, the person that they're asking about is very concerned because they know that they're going to get outed by you. Whatever that means. Look, the tower. What the fuck? I don't even know if I just cut the deck then, so I'll do it again. But there's going to be something going on. Something's going to come into light. Something unexpected. Shocking. Whatever is this shit that you know of intuitively, whether this is your situation, somebody else's, whatever. Your intuition is screaming at you. Ugh. You're manifesting your person and they are going to appear before your very eyes. Could be an Aquarius. Show me Taurus's energy. Somebody rising of Venus. What does Taurus need to say? The Page of Cups, the Chariot. Dealing with the cancer. So this could have been something fairly new that you was dealing with, um, with the page of cups, and then you just got off, you know, like something new enough to leave behind quite easily. And we've got judgment, the sun. Cancer manager, Scorpio, Leo. Show me more. The Six of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. The wishing period. The wishing phase, the wanting phase, is going to be over soon because your intuition is screaming at you. Someone, I don't want to say someone wants you to, or someone wants you to come back because you're you're very much moving forward. And then there's a big energy of someone wanting to come bring you back to them. Um, to the happiness. I feel like you're going to get some kind of offer, proposal, big, something big. Let's clarify. Clarify, please. Trust your intuition and carry on doing so and show gratitude, acknowledgement, keep doing that. It's going to pay off even more so for you, okay? You're going to be ridiculously abundant in your high priestess skills. Someone's choosing to change. Someone's doing a 360 and they're a little bit embarrassed about it. Um, someone's going to stop you in your tracks. Someone wants to stop you. Show me this page of cups, please. Show me this page of cups, please, for Taurus. The Seven of Pentacles. So it was something fairly new that you've invested in. The Empress. And the two of cups but it was a soulmate you felt a very strong connection maybe past life there was something about you 
with the page of cups it's something fairly new that someone that was maybe moving too slow so you just got off like for whatever reason this person but it's someone that you wanted to invest in yeah oh some of you found out that they chose someone else yeah the nine of pentacles the lovers the page of swords the two of swords so hmm. coming in with a gemini or another taurus or a libra but this is something that was fairly easy not yeah i mean not no let me let me recheck let me check that it was someone that you was able to move on from in that chariot yeah regardless of wanting to invest in it some of you did you know again something about the seventh seventh month seventh week seventh year i don't know seventh day but you was able to move on from it show me this chariot please Yeah, look, the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Wands, okay, even if, even though this was great sex, <laughs> even though this was something that you wanted, you know, the sex could have been great, but you had to get, you had to get off the Ace of Pentacles, this was something that you wanted, you wanted a relationship with this person, this situation, you know, you've seen something future-wise, as far as this person's concerned, but you had to turn your back on it, you had to move forward, but it was doable, because it was, only fairly new, newish. Yes, there was a ghosting period. Maybe this person ghosted you. Could be a hermit. <laughs> Could be a Virgo with a hermit or an air sign with that King of Swords energy. Someone like just went completely fucking mute. <laughs> Maybe that's what made it a little bit easier for you to just move on from. She's like, wow, what the fuck? <clears throat> Show me this judgment, please. From this judgment for Taurus. The Nine of Wands. The Magician and the Ten of Wands. Oh, so someone... There could have been a bit of manipulation, mind games going on. Um, Someone's been dealing with a lot of shit. Like, someone's bruised up, bandaged up and that. Like... But they're completing that. All that... You know all this shit news? And, like, the... Shit after shit after shit or whatever. Someone's done dealing with that. Someone's done. One sec. Someone's done. Someone's done dealing with the devil. I mean, we've seen this quite a lot recently. But it's like someone's had enough of being fucking manipulated. It's judgment time. Someone's following the guide. The guides. Oh, someone, oh my God, you've got a lot of jealousy around you, mate. <laughs> like, for a lot of you, it's because of how you look, which is shit, but it is what it is. Some of you have been made to be the Queen of Wands. Some of you have had someone bring a Queen of Wands into your shit. Either way, it's all been for a reason, says the Divine. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Show me this sun energy, please. I feel like there's just pure revelations going on to be honest show me this sun energy whoa what time please the tower the six of swords wow one more for this sun please one more for this sun listen those of you that are... the six of swords to the four of swords because you've moved on it's hitting someone like a tower you've released something you're getting off you're heading into peace clarity sleep mental rest or someone is for, like and it's, someone's going through a tower moment like there's been an energetic shift a release an energetic release so that's what's bringing the sun clarity or someone needs to seriously sort their heads out and stop lying someone's worried about the lies been found out um the emperor if it's not about lying it's just not being true to the self and what they want show me what this tower is please i don't like this reading 
Show me this tower, please, spirit. Well, this is going to be clarity and the six of cups. Listen, <laughs> someone from your past is coming back because you've moved the fuck on. You moved into calmness. I said before, someone wants you to come back from your past. There's so much, there's a lot of clarity coming, a lot of truth, a lot of revelation. And a lot of you, it's to do with feelings. How someone feels about you. Show me the six of stars, but listen, someone's been dealing with a karmic. I feel like that's being revealed as well. Exposed, if you know what I mean. The sun's not just about happiness, it's about the, everything being out in the open. So... Someone could be letting everything out. Yeah, telling a lot of shit, a lot of, a lot of truth. A shitload of truth. Show me the six of swords, please. Death. <laughs> queen of Cups. Strong Scorpio energy and the Queen of Pentacles. The Empress is here, so listen. Someone knows that they could have a future with you with the Queen of Pentacles. You know, she's very... Head of household, she knows how to look after her shit. And the Queen of Cups, she knows how to love. Someone wants all that back. With death. Rebirth. Someone's really not been putting their happiness first. And someone's about to start doing so. And there's been a lot of deceit for a lot of you. There's been a lot of lies. Um, There's been a lot of... Shitty energy, to be honest. I feel like someone's about to take control of it. Someone's looking at the situation. The Emperor is looking at the situation from a bigger perspective or a different perspective because they're never going to be balanced. They know that their life is never going to be balanced until something comes to an end. Mm -hmm. Show me this Ace of Pentacles, please. Three of Swords, the Knight of Cups. Are you kidding me? And the Four of Cups. So someone's coming in that's possibly put you in a third party situation, broke your heart before. Someone's coming in because they feel like they're going to miss the opportunity with that Four of Cups. You absolutely might reject this because of this third party situation or for, because of this pain, whatever it is. Let's see what this Four of Cups is. Some of you are doing some things online and it's going to be so successful, so rewarding. Show me these four of cups, please. The four of wands. Some of you are questioning the connection. <laughs> yeah. Strength and two of pentacles. You're going to wonder on whether this is maybe a karmic or twin itself. Mm. It's going to be like, well, maybe I was just delusional, to be honest, when I was dealing with the first time around, when I was giving you all, when you was giving me fuck all. Um, and I'll be coming back around again. And you're going to be like, well, do I want you now? Interesting. So some of you absolutely might reject this. Some of you have made... Uh, some of you may be just... Some of you may be dealing with someone else. This is also someone rejecting another commitment. So someone could also be coming telling you that they've rejected a four of ones. Okay. Let's see what this Knight of Cups is. Three of Pentacles. So, for some of you, this could be someone coming to your work. Someone could be asking a friend to reach out on their behalf. Someone's going to be opening up about admitting how they feel. Admitting how they feel. Someone's going to come and tell you that this can work now because I've rejected the Four of Wands. I've rejected a marriage, a commitment. 
Show me this four of wands. A very toxic one. A very volatile environment. Someone's getting out of that. Jealous. Obsessive. Argumentative. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right, well. Don't like that reading. Let's get you some Moonologer. I didn't like it. But let me know if it was for you, of course. I'd love to hear that. Um, show me what Taurus needs to see. Be bold and make the first move. Don't let pride get in your way. Someone's putting the pride aside. Someone is... Sorting the reds out, someone's sorting the reds out and making a move. Prosperity lies ahead, Taurus. You are good enough. But your dreams need a practical plan. Um, right, don't let emotions take over. You need to be practical as well. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Show me messages for Taurus. Confidence is your key to success. Could be under Leo. Believe in the impossible. <laughs> Have faith in your dreams. So for a lot of you, you want this, but you believe like it's just completely unachievable, unattainable, never gonna happen. And that's why you completely put it behind you with the chariot. It's like there's no point. It was something fairly new, maybe, or you know. Something quite light that you've been able, or you've made it as such because you don't have confidence in it whatsoever, or you don't have confidence in the person that you were dealing with, the runner, whatsoever. So you've completely put it behind you. Um, <laughs> so it's about to shake up, believe in the impossible, once in a blue moon. Honestly, have faith in your dreams. Guys, you know I love you, right? Let me know if these messages were for you. I didn't like them. <laughs> but I love you all. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all tomorrow. Mwah.